Hey guys, this is a rant video, just to let you know, somewhat of a rant video, so if you don't want to see a little bit of a rant from me, then farewell. You can click the video off. Um, I've already recorded this once and it ended up being 20 minutes long, so I'm looking at the clock now. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. And I want to be more vague, because I, I just was too... It came off as, I was coming off as an asshole, and I don't want to come off as an asshole. Okay, um, as some of you know, and most of you may not know, I used to weigh 240 pounds. That was my heaviest weight. I'm 5'4", I'm 5'5", five, 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 something like that, 5'6", between 5'4 and 5'6". Uh, I've really not been measured in forever, um, but uh, I think I may have shrunk some, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, I dieted and exercised for a year and I lost all the way down from 240 to 150. Now, I did that by changing, drastically changing my diet, restricting my calories, and consuming better, healthier foods. Now, here lately, I've been seeing some, some posts by people on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, that such, um, uh, having problems uh, with their body and having complications and having to take meds and having to be in pain and stuff and I just want to say that a lot of your problems um, there's several people so not this is not in particularly speaking to one person okay this is this is a broad spectrum the over overweight obese spectrum um, most of you would if you would lose the weight somehow you would get rid of so many of your afflictions the pain um, pain is increased, is, the heavier you get, your, your pain is increased if you have fibromyalgia, if you have other issues. Um, your nerves are, when you're heavier, your nerves in your, throughout your body um, are affected as well by your weight. And of course, the whole array of health issues revolving around eating too many calories. Now, the problem with um, a lot of people is they shovel just way too much food in their mouth. Way, 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 way too much food. Um, if you didn't know, 2,000 calories a day is about the minimum. You can you could t eat 2,000 calories a day and retain your weight. If you reduce your calor calorie intake to say 15 to 1,200 calories a day, you can lose weight without even exercising. But if you do just a little bit of exercising on top of the, the reduction in calories per day, you will drastically lose weight. And I did it with a, in under a year, I lost from 240 down to 150. Now, if I can do this, you can do this. I promise. So, just stop shoveling thousands of calories down your gullet with food, with fast food. Fast food is a big killer. Pizza, ordering pizza is horrible that's something you do once a month you don't order pizza on the daily you don't order pizza on the weekly you don't order pizza on the bi-weekly order it just a pizza once a month and indulge in your pizza once a month don't sit and eat the whole pizza in one sitting because that's stupid I don't care if you weigh 500 pounds or 120 pounds eating a whole pizza in one sitting is stupid um, so just to condense this down all um, it's easy. All you have to do is take, like for instance, with my here's my coffee cup. If I had a full cup of coffee, it would weigh around roughly around a pound. I could lift this up a, a, a hundred times. You can take your laptop and pick it up fifty times. You can p pick something heavy up, pick a book up, pick two books up at once, and do that. You can do just do this with your arms. Get your body moving. Get on the floor. Move your legs. Get in a, get in a chair. Move your legs. Do your do just move move your body. Um, sit in sedentary all day um, or laying or sitting all day it does nothing for your health uh, and doing those small just small little exercises you ain't don't have to get a bike you don't have to get gym equipment you don't have to go to the gym to lose weight you can do this all from home with me with my social phobias and with with my other mental afflictions I do mostly stay at home so I don't get to go to a gym or get to go to the park and walk around and stuff like that so I do like I dance what I do I turn on the 
I just turn on some music and I just dance for an hour. And that's my exercise for the day. So something like that, I play with my dogs, I go outside, I play with fetch with my dogs for 30 minutes and sweat a little bit. It's good to sweat. Don't be afraid to sweat. Um, don't be afraid of exercise. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, there's a lot of things, like I said, you can do right in your own home just to get your body moving um, and also reducing your calorie intake. That is a must. You have to find the will to say no. You have to find it. It is in you somewhere. You just have to find the will for you to say no. And your body usually tells you when you're full. And for me, I could like sit and eat, I, I could, I could sit and eat a cheeseburger and some tots from Sonic or something. But then I'm gonna feel shitty later. I promise. Fast food is like horrible. I could do that and not gain any weight because I've lost all of the weight and I'm still mobile and, and I do a little bit of exercising every day. So stay away from the fast food. It is number one killer is fast food, especially pizza. Pizza is very, 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 very high in calories, high in fat, high in carbs, high in sodium. It's so horrible for you. So stop ordering the pizza. Stop picking up the phone and ordering the pizza because it's simple. Don't do that. Make something at home. If you're going shopping, um, buy fresh, fresh vegetables, buy frozen vegetables if you have to. Um, get fruit. Instead, go to your cupboards and throw out all the sweets. Don't eat all that junk. That junk is something that's not good for you. Don't even get one box of, of anything, even if it's in like 100 calorie packs in the box. Do, don't do that. It's just, a, it's just a trap for you to sit and eat more of them. Oh, it's only 100 calories? Well, I'll eat two. Well, then it's only 100 calories, I'll eat three. And that'll be my, cal my sweet calories for the day. No, it's just a trap. You need to stop, rethink your situation, actually sit and get, in, get it in your mind. You need to lose weight. You need to get active. You need to do this in order for you to continue to live. Um, we're going on eight minutes now. I'm going to keep it under 10. What do I say? Um, my 20 minute video was so informative. I, I went through my routines within that video. I went through other things, spoke of in particular like alcohol. If you consume alcohol, alcohol is packed full of calories, uh, especially hard liquors or liqueurs. They're just packed full of sugar and calories. Um, don't just sit and drink all day or sit and drink all night. It's not good for you. You can, it's, I'm do, you're doing it for a buzz maybe um, limit your alcohol and cons consumption Ca factor that factor the calorie consumption of the alcohol into your daily calories that you are given now I would say 15 to 1800 calories for a woman with no exercise you're probably going to maintain weight but if you really want to lose weight drop it down to 1200 calories and trust me 1200 calories a day is enough food for a human to survive I promise I did it for over a year. I still am currently under, on, on, on the pretty much the 1,200 calorie a day of diet. So um, kick, kick the old habits out the door. Stop ordering the fast food. Don't go to um, all-you-can-eat buffets. Especially if you have children, don't take your children to all-you-can-eat buffets because it's only going to lead them into being obese as well. Um, I don't even want to get started on child nutrition. Uh, I wasn't properly nu nu from from zero to ten. I was I had enough nutrition, but after I, when I hit ten years old, it changed because of my living situation, and I was introduced to way more calories than I was nor than I was ever eating before, um, and it resulted in me being an overweight uh, child and an overweight teen. And then I was an overweight adult as well. I've always had a struggle with my weight ever since I was about, about 10 and a half years old. Okay, if you go to the market, look for something fresh. If you're going for meats, the the really the the, the more healthier meat is white meat. So I would suggest buy fresh chicken. You can take the chicken like quarter thighs or thighs or quarter the quarter quarter quarters, chicken quarters, um, or drumsticks or 
get um, buy it in bulk, then you can fr you can freeze it, and, and then you can take it out and you can bake it. Bake your chicken. Don't fry your chicken. Bake your chicken, uh, or crockpot your chicken. Something like that. Um, yeah, just stay off the fast food. I'm so concerned for so many of you on my friends list and on my YouTube. I'm so concerned with a lot of you um, because you appear to be going down the path of no return and I just want you to be healthy and I want you I want to continue to see your posts for a long time I don't want you to one of it all of a sudden drop dead of a heart attack now I'm not saying somebody weighing 250 pounds is gonna drop dead of a heart attack but when you eat such bad things and you eat so much of them bad things your arteries do get clogged and people these days are in their 30s hitting clock getting 70 80 percent blockage in their arteries is because of the foods that's readily available so I would say eat fresh as much as you can cook your meals at home leave the fast food out of your life I dropped fast food for a year and dropped a hundred pounds okay so I love you guys peace really take it heed my advice I really want you to heed my advice and this is not directed to any particular person I hope I do not receive unfriends or lose subscribers because of this because this is something that's personal to me I've went through it if I like I said if I can do it you can do it peace you guys I love you and I'll see you around